I'm Zeke Madavosian, and I've been telling you about my mom with a mental disorder. He has addiction of hurting me. And I want you to see this um, sign she has here. She has always sign here. She's always yelling every day. For seven years, she's been calling police, complaining that the uh, neighbors across the street have um, uh, uh, factory in the residential area, and she has this sign, she has this condition, she's always complaining, uh, a land of liberty and justice, seven years of power theft, elder abuse, cyber attacks, please help, no internet, she does have internet, I, I installed it myself, repeatedly we've installed it, she gets rid of it, she wants excuse to yell and complain, her way of abusing others is by complaining that she's being abused. And then so it's been going on uh, ever since my father passed. Uh, she was always blaming my dad for everything in front of me since I was a baby. When she he passed in 2017, he started blaming the neighbors. And then she also has cops call me daily to bring me here to abuse me. She, that's her condition, chronic condition, pathological condition. Now the people who've been supporting it, the cops, 911 abuse. It's 911 abuse daily since 2017. Okay? And they took her to court for it back then when it started, but now they're concealing that. Because we told the judge, we promised we we're going to move out, and she never did. She keeps bringing realtors to call me to, to abuse me, and she never does. So Sergeant Ritchie says he doesn't know that her intention is malicious, so she doesn't want to prevent it. Why? Because it's a way of hurting me, because he profits from it, first of all, because they daily calls, they enable it, they feed off of it. Albert in uh, Northern California, my cousin, and the other cousin, all they have to do is put, to put a stop to it, the one signature from him and Norik, we put a stop to it, we start the process, put a stop to it, get the medical power of attorney so she can't refuse treatment, can't refuse to sign the listing of women to get out of here. But they don't want to because she's hurting me and then they're, they're used backing me up in the corner. They've been doing financial abuse on me for four years, uh, bad-mouthing me, uh, what's that called, um, defamation of character, saying bad things about me to doctors, to police, in order to reduce my credibility. They've been gaslighting me for four years. I have text conversations showing that. And the police won't do anything about it because they're supporting them. The cop across the street there, Alan, he threatened to sue me for reporting publicly what he's doing. Alan, I'm going to send this to you. I, you don't want to appear in front of a judge because then you would have to lie. Or you would have to come clean. And that's what I urge you to do. Come clean. Claim your whistleblower protection. Right? You're a retired cop. You know, I've been telling you, I've been texting you, you know what I'm telling you is the truth. Come Report publicly, all of you, report publicly the crap you've been doing to me intentionally to get this house and the other property. Pull up the 911 reports from both houses that my mom owns, going back 10 years, okay? And you tell me you don't know the, the intention of it is bad. You were supporting the squatter there who's trying to get that house for a drug fentanyl gang. Cops supporting, lying to support a drug dealer occupying my house. And they say, these are our laws, you don't like them, go back to Iran. That's what it's about. It's a hate crime. That's part of it. So they back me up in the corner to get me to do something so they'll get me arrested. They actually did succeed in getting me arrested. This is what I'm doing. This is what I'm doing, okay? I want, I'm asking all of you to come forward and report publicly what you know.